I've actually received some comments on my YouTube channel to review the Yamaha Avant Grand um, digital pianos, and today I am here with the N2 Avant Grand hybrid piano. Now, what's interesting about this is, first of all, there's a few different models of the Avant Grand. I believe there's an N1, which has less speakers than the N2, and the N3 is the one that is shaped like a grand piano. And this one here has speakers that are down here, where a uh, cover would normally be on an acoustic piano. There's speakers behind here. And then up top, there are also speakers underneath this lid. And what's kind of cool is you can actually lower the lid, and uh, I'd imagine and you could probably even hide this thing, the uh, music desk away. You lift the lid up, and then it gently will close. It doesn't quite automatically close, so you do have to manually close it, but it will slowly start to fall. And then to open it back up, you just lift it up. It locks in place, and there it is, and then this just kind of falls right back there like that. So again, to lift it up, you push it there, and then it just automatically closes. It's a very nice uh, setup for the lid, and since there are speakers up there, closing the lid will actually make a difference on the sound, which is kind of cool. Of course, you do have a volume knob down here as well that changes the loudness of the instrument, and I'm sure there's also a headphone jack down there somewhere as well, which would make complete sense. So, what's kind of cool about this is there's actually a little hidden compartment. It's not really a compartment, but it's more of a hidden uh, buttons list so that you can make recordings. Uh, this is probably to select different recordings and also select different sounds. There's, you can make it do demos. You can, there's a metronome built in. Let's see what that, how that works. There's a metronome. I'll bet you it's like tap to speed, so maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh, I'll bet you, yeah, you can use this button to increase the speed. There's a small little screen there. And then you can just punch this up. I wonder how fast we can make it go. Let's find out. Uh, 220, 230, 240, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 320, 340. How fast can it go? Wow, it goes past 400. Let's see. I don't know why I'm amused by how fast a metronome can go up. Okay, it maxed out at 500. I don't know why you'd ever want it to be at 500 beats per minute, but you can make it go up to 500 beats per minute, which I think is the highest record on a metronome I've seen before. I think the highest I've seen before is like 400. So that's kind of fun. There's also a function button here. I don't 100% sure know what that does, but you can probably set the level of reverb and the metronome sounds and different things like that. So the stock sound here is, of course, a piano sound since this is supposed to be a piano. But you also, if you hold the piano voice down and you push the up button, you can get different sounds. There's a little two here on the screen now. This is a brighter, thinner sounding piano. We have number three, which is like a Yamaha DX uh, electric piano. And since this has a volume knob, you can kind of get like a uh, vibrato kind of effect. Manual one, but you can kind of do that. Uh, we also have number four, which I think is a harpsichord. Nope, I'm wrong. This is like a Rhodes kind of sound. Kind of cool. We've got, uh, whoop, that reset for some reason. Let's go to number five. That's the harpsichord one. Play some Mozart on that. And then that goes back to one. So there's only five different sounds on it. It would be kind of cool if there were more sounds on it, but honestly, you know, most people probably aren't going to use many of the sounds. You'd buy this to have a substitute for a real piano. And what's cool is this just slides right back in there, clicks into place, and then it's hidden from view. From where you're sitting, you can actually see the volume knob, so if you want to tweak it, then you can. That's why it's so large and it sticks out so far, because when it's away, you can, simply, you can still see it and uh, be able to adjust it. So I'm going to play uh, my original song here that I wrote to kind of help test out pianos. It also works on keyboards as well. And so I'm going to, it starts off in the treble, works its way down into the tenor and bass, and then we will see how that sounds on the Yamaha Avant Grand N2. This sounds very much like a real piano. I think on the bass end it could probably use a little bit of work, but it's honestly not that bad, really. And I would like it if it had a bit more bass fundamental tone in there and less of the brighter overtones. 
but it does sound pretty good, and for an average person who's buying a keyboard, they really wouldn't know what a concert grand piano sounds like, so this would really be a good substitute. I'll bet you the lid is a soft close. Yes, indeed it is. And uh, it's a pretty cool piano, and I honestly like it. The action on it, I believe the reason it's called a hybrid is because it probably uses a real uh, upright action. I can't see inside, but I'm willing to bet that it does. I have seen some Yamaha models that are a bit taller than this, and they have a clear front panel on them, and you can actually see the uh, actual piano action inside of the keyboard. And uh, that's a pretty cool feature as well. On some Yamaha pianos, you can flip a switch and have them silence the piano part and it play a digital part and even combine the acoustic and the digital parts and make all kinds of cool effects. So Yamaha is doing a lot with technology and pianos and they're really refining it as well. This is the action on this, since it is a real upright action, to the best of my knowledge, it's honestly one of the best keyboard actions I've played and uh, it's a very good representation action-wise, particularly of what a real piano can do. One of the things I wanted to mention about the Yamaha Avant Grand is that it has very interesting styling. If we take a look down here, and you've probably noticed this already, that the, the piano is very unique. The uh, part here with the speakers is very thin, and then the rest of the piano kind of kicks out, and it has this curved piece on the back. It is completely flat, gloss black. It, there's some kind of a little... Uh, fabric looking thing, maybe it's another speaker in the back of it or something, but it kind of curves in here and then it goes back that way. It kind of juts out from the top of the speaker compartment and then the leg here is just a flat um, piece of wood it sounds like. It It's curved on this side, but it's uh, got an angle on all three other sides. There is no pasture down here, but there's a small little foot. And uh, also, as you can see, the sides of the speaker cabinet are curved, and then this little part here for the lyre is also curved where it comes in and meets with the plastic, I mean, not the plastic, this is fabric, with the fabric speaker grill. So it's a very cool look, and uh, some people might not like it, and some people probably do. It's a very different look for a keyboard or a piano or anything like that, and that's kind of one of the things that makes the Avant Grand look much different than other keyboards on the market. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video of the Yamaha Avant Grand N2. If you're interested in where I found this instrument, uh, you can check the description down below because I'll put the store's information down there. So if you're interested in coming and checking this one out for yourself, you can if you're in the area or you simply want to go on a road trip and go see this instrument. So it's pretty cool. And uh, so I've got lots of videos on my channel. I recently uploaded a video of a, uh, a Kawai keyboard, the CA78. So if you want to hear what that sounds like, kind of compared to this, you can. You can go, uh, go back to my channel list and check that out. I've got videos on organs and pianos and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you want to subscribe and stay in tune with the stuff I'm doing, then you can. And if you do subscribe, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.